Autism Action Day at the state capitol happens this Wednesday, and this advocacy day has led to new laws and calls attention to what still needs to be done to improve the lives of those with autism and other special needs too. And joining me this morning to talk all about it is Assemblyman Angelo Santa Barbara. Assemblyman Santa Barbara, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me on the show. I can't believe it's been a, a year already since I was on here. Yes. Uh, now it's Autism Action Day happening again this year. And this has been going on for more than 10 years. Yep. And before we talk about you know some of the real changes that have come out of this day of advocacy, tell me what happened Friday, something special as well, part of Autism Acceptance Month. Yes, during Autism Acceptance Month, I do bring my son Michael uh, to the Assembly Chamber. And uh, I talk about Autism Acceptance Month, what, what, what once used to be Autism Autism Awareness Month has yes. now evolved into Autism Acceptance Month, uh, but I bring him uh, to the chamber. I introduce him. I, I talk about video. some of the uh, some of the things he's exploring and doing, and uh, some of the some of the things he's been able to do to achieve achieve uh, some of his goals in life. So it's been wonderful to be able to talk about my experience with Michael, how it changed my life. I was uh, I was an engineer, a civil engineer. I went to school for engineering. Mm -hmm. When my son was born, it changed my life. It, it's what. Uh, it was a turning point that led me to public public advocacy, uh, public policy, and being elected to the state assembly to fight for people with disabilities to make sure they have a voice at the state capitol. Right. That's what Autism Action Day is about. And you continue to do that. Let's talk about some of the things that you are focused on for this year. One of them, a big concern, and we've been <coughs> hearing a lot about it in general, is affordable housing. Yes. But this is specific to those with special needs and how we can help them to live their best lives. And that has been a topic of conversation for the past couple of years, affordable housing. We've seen affordable housing being yeah. built in our communities. But uh, what people may not realize with the affordable housing project, Projects, there are a percentage, a, a section of those affordable housing units that do have support services built right into them. Mm. Uh, we're also introducing a bill. We've introduced a bill this year that'll be part of our, our, our pretty bold autism action uh, pa package of bills yeah. this year, eight bills in, to in total. Uh, one of them will address housing and the long wait list that we're seeing for people that are aging out. My son is one of those individuals. Yeah. He's aging out of the Center for Discovery where he attends school, uh, waiting for a placement. There are very long waiting lists. We need to look at those waiting lists, mm. find out the details, how long people have been on those lists and what we can do to provide resources, whether it's in the budget or other means, to make sure those placements are happening in a timely manner. And real quick, college is something else you're looking at so that people with special needs can go on and, and achieve yes. higher education as well. Tell me a little bit about that real the quick. The State Education Department released a report in 2017. Uh, it talked about $15 million that uh, we, we needed to invest in support services for people that are in post-secondary education with disabilities. Those are things like your your pads, smart pens, accommodations for people with disabilities, important things to make sure they can succeed and thrive right. in their goals in life. We also have to give a shout out to SUNY Schenectady, the entrepreneurship uh, and employment uh, pilot program for people with disabilities mm -hmm. is underway. Uh, that is uh, a, a, a tremendous success. We hope to see that replicated across the state. Soon. Wonderful, and through this advocacy, you're making a real difference. So the event is Wednesday. We've got it up on the screen right here. It's from nine to two in the well of the legislative office building. That's right. And you said an ambitious plan this year, yes. eight bills, <clears throat> but we'll be talking more about it. I can't wait to be out there with you on Wednesday. And we thank you so much for all you do to advocate for those with autism and other special needs. I'm looking event. forward to it, and I hope uh, your viewers can join us as well. Well, all are welcome uh, to join us, and certainly we're looking forward to a great uh, Autism Action Day that will lead to further legislation and funding like what we just discussed. Terrific. Today. Thank you so much.